Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to another episode of RB Plays Enigmatica 6. That's right, folks, we're back in our modded world doing all the cool modded things. My name is RB Plays. I am your humble host on this side of the screen. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit the old subscribe button and get notified every time we put new content up on the channel. So um, I want to apologize first and foremost. This episode, uh, I am having to voice over the beginning of this because uh, my derpy self forgot to uh, reconfigure my audio. But what we're going to work on today is this. Um, the mob farm that I have for the blazes is absolutely horrible, but first I got to sleep and then I'll explain. So while we sleep, let's talk about this just a little bit. The mob farm that we have is good. It takes, uh, it does do a, a good job of spawning blazes. It's an apotheosis spawner, so we've got uh, a lot of options as far as uh, speed and quantity of mobs and all of that, and, uh, and it's pretty cool, right? It's pretty cool how fast it spawns mobs, but because it's so big, it takes a while for those uh, for those mobs to get to a point where I can kill, and then uh, and everything. Of course, we also have to do is manual. So I want to tear this down today. I want to tear this down, and I want to move it to a place where we can number one make it a little bit more efficient, and number two make it so that we can have multiple spawners all in uh, in one location. So. That being said, what I want to do is uh, down underneath, I want to I want to set up a giant, uh, well, maybe not giant, but I want to set up a decent sized room. Um, we, uh, we have a zombie spawner that we have in the cardboard box. We also have the blaze spawner, and I want to have both of those uh, be down here in this area. Actually, we're going to probably go down just a little bit farther um, to, uh, to set up the, uh, the, the whole spawning room. Um, matter of fact, if we go down here... This is about the level that I want the base of it to be. So we'll set it up so that we get the uh, the the blaze spawner down here. We'll set it up so that we get the uh, the the zombie spawner down here, and uh, and it'll basically be the width of this room, right? Um, I have some I have some cool ideas. I want to use like redstone control and stuff like that to, to turn the spawners on and off because you can do that with the apotheosis mod. Uh, you can set it up so that by putting a comparator onto it, you can you can actually have remote access or remote uh, power and stuff like that. Um, but it's just, the the whole point is that the spawner, the way that it is, uh, isn't working very well. We'll probably end up having to use some of the vector plates. Uh, as a matter of fact, I know <laughs> basically since I've already recorded this, I know that we end up having to use the vector plates at least for now. Um, I don't want to spoil the rest of the episode for you, but to, because there is some very cool stuff that we're going to do uh, to get uh, to get this thing up and running, and we also are going to try our hands at, uh, at getting it kind of uh, kind of decorated a little bit nicer. Like give it give it a little bit of look, give it a little bit of feel, give it a little bit of uh, uh, savoir faire, if you will. Um, and I think we pull that off. Uh, you guys will you guys will have to let me know down in the comments what you think as far as uh, how the spawner uh, the spawner room tur turns out in the end. But I think uh, I think in the uh, in the grand scheme of things, we do a pretty good job. So let's see what we can come up with. Okay, everybody. So progress update. Um, space dug out. Got a couple of spawners down here. We relocated our blaze spawner. We also unpacked our zombie spawner and put the redstone upgrade on it. We haven't upgraded it yet as far as, you know, how many mobs it will spawn and how fast it will spawn them or anything like that. Uh, but we've got our room laid out and I've got room for, if I do a spacing in between, I got room for one more spawner here and one more spawner over here. So we could have a total of four spawners in here. And I think one of them, if I can get my hands on one, one is going to be something that will spawn uh, Enderman, uh, which in order to do that, that takes us back to something that we were working on last live stream. Um, and that is to be able to get the uh, capture enchantment on a sword. If you do that, it's I think it's called capturing. It allows you to kill mobs and they drop spawn eggs. So... Uh, and then you can use the spawn egg to change the characteristics of the spawner because I don't think we're going to find an actual Enderman spawner. Uh, and then the only other spawner that I think I'd want to put in here might be uh, might be like a skeleton spawner. Maybe a, uh, yeah, I'll have to find out. You guys let me know in chat whether you think it would be better to do, or not chat, but in the comments. Let me know if you think it would be better to do a uh, a skeleton spawner in here so that we get access to bone and bone meal and all that, or uh, a gunpowder farm. So we could do a, we could change it and see if we could get something that will spawn creepers. Um, but 
we've uh, we've got the dark glass here, so that'll make it so that no light gets in there. Um, and uh, and we'll also set it up so that there's lights in the ceiling, so that no other mobs will spawn in there, except for the apotheosis spawners. Um, oh, another good idea might be wither skeletons too. Yeah, wither skeletons might be nice. I don't know if there's a trick to getting wither skeletons to spawn in the overworld in this pack. Um, so we'll have to see about that. But you know, all options, right? Like a wither skeleton, a wither skeleton spawner probably would be the better one instead of like regular skeletons or, or creepers. But we'll come to that when we when we finally get to the point where we can change the spawner types. Um, but anyway, we got dark glass in here. That'll keep the light from in here from getting in there. Uh, we also brought in a uh, crafting grid over here so we have access back to the base, um, back to the main base, and uh, and, have, and have access to our stuff. Uh, but I'm just going to kind of, I was going to kind of start swapping out blocks, right? So that we can change the flooring in here. Uh, one of the things that I absolutely want to make sure of is that you can see uh, in here. And so uh, changing out the blocks like this will definitely make that a possibility. Uh, I'll put in some cracked ones as well. Uh, I do that later. One of the things I learned from B00100 is uh, lay it out first and then go back and just kind of be random about where you... Uh, where you put other blocks in. So um, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and finish setting up the floor in here. I got to come up with an idea for the walls. Uh, we talked about in the in the live stream that we were doing, we talked about the uh, the crying obsidian. That's why I was looking that up here. I have one piece of crying obsidian. So obviously that's not going to be what we use um, for the walls and the ceiling. But uh, I'll figure something out and I'll come back to you guys with a status update as soon as I can. Okay, y'all, so we've made progress. We've got a floor in, we've got a ceiling in, we've got gilded blackstone. Yes, we are able to make gilded blackstone. Uh, the way that you make gilded blackstone is you actually take, uh, let me pull it up here, gilded blackstone. Uh, you take a, uh, you can either take gold dust or enriched gold and put it into a metallurgic infuser. And then you just take a piece of blackstone and put it in there and you get, you get gilded blackstone. It's kind of expensive, right? Like it takes a hundred millibuckets uh, and there's, and basically there's, uh, uh, each ingot is 10. <laughs> so um, each ingot is 10. So it's it's kind of expensive, but using it sparingly, it, it looks pretty good. Like, what do you guys think of this? This looks pretty good, I think. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to work on the redstone control of this. My idea is these spawners, because they have the comparator modification on them from Apotheosis, these spawners will only turn on when there is a redstone signal to them. So what I'm thinking, what I was, what I was thinking was if I take and uh, if I take a redstone torch, uh, so redstone torch, if I take a redstone torch and put it underneath the spawner with a lever, we should be able to control whether that spawner becomes active or not, right? So let's change, ooh, little hiccup there. Uh, let's change this. Uh, we're gonna go like that, we're gonna go like that, we're gonna go like that, and we're gonna put down, uh, let's put down cracked. Crack seems, crack seems appropriate. If we put down the, the lever, turn the lever on, that block is powered, right? And, uh, Okay, so that's off, and now it's on. Ow. Ow. Oh, uh, B, uh, yeah. So you can't hurt me because I'm immune to fire. Uh, ow, ow. Yep, okay, so that works. Like, that totally works. That's cool, right? I'm so glad I turned the sounds off for these guys because they drive me crazy. And I'm so glad that I'm immune to fire, but that works. Right? So building on that, right? Building on that, we should be able to power that block another way. So we don't have to come in here and use the uh, um, use the, the lever. We should be able to power that block a different way to turn this torch on and off. And then when the mob spawner is active, even if it's dark in here, then then that light from the redstone torch should come through the, uh, the spawner and it should make it so that uh, so that that's working pretty nice. Um, to get the redstone signal in there, what I'd like to do actually is I'd like to use uh, RF tools. So at RF tools, right up here we have. Uh, I just had them and I lost them. There are the redstone receivers and the redstone transmitters. So 
So with the redstone transmitters and the redstone receivers, we can be outside of the mob spawner. We can send it a signal and we should be able to turn it uh, turn it on and off. And then we'll have another uh, another mechanism. We'll have probably from industrial foregoing the mob, uh, the mob crusher. Yeah, this one, uh, which is, again, pretty easy to make. We, we should have everything we need to, to do that. The only thing I'm concerned about is, oh, in advance, we need a dissolution chamber for the... Um, need a dissolution chamber for that. So we'll have to get into, into that a little bit. But what I'm going to do right now is I want to work out this, this redstone signal. So uh, at RF tools, uh, if we go to RF tools and we go to the redstone receiver, uh, we need to make a couple of these. So that's easy enough. Ugh. There we go. Uh, we needed three per, right? So nope, not that. Definitely not that. Uh, we want this. We need one per. Okay, that's fine. So we'll make one of those, we'll make two of those, three of those, four of those, because we're gonna need, uh, we need a a transmitter and a receiver for each spawner. So we'll make four of those, one, two, three, four. Uh, and oops, I didn't wanna do that at RF tools again. And we'll go into uh, here. We need a comparator. What do we need for the, for the transmitter? Just redstone torches. So three, six, 10. We need 10 redstone torches. That's easy enough. So, yes, please. Got a little desync thing happening. So, 10 redstone torches. Got it. Uh, we need to make some comparators, which are those. Uh, we need some need some blocks out of here. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That'll work. Nope, not there. Cool. Alright, so there's that. Eh. And one, two. I need I need more of those. So I need to make two of these. There we go. There we go. Uh uh oh. I run out of did I run out of Did I run out of torches? I did run out of torches. Okay. Give me those back, because if I put them in there, they'll go to my living rock farm. Uh so torch. Well, redstone to torch. One, two, three, four. We'll just we'll just make we'll just make ten. That'll work. And then comparator. There we go. That takes care of that. So now we should be able to make the uh, the transmitter and the receiver from RF tools. And if we go like this, we should be able to get two redstone receivers, one and two. And then we should be able to also get uh, transmitters, one and... Oh, no! Oh! I ran out of ender pearls. Well, that's okay. That is okay. We should still be able to uh, to set this up. Eh, kind of, sort of. Uh, let's go in here real quick. Oop, that's not what I wanted. Uh, breaker, get there. So we need to set the controls up. Well, we only got one transmitter, so we'll put the transmitter... Can I put the transmitter there? Yes. And then, can I get another lever? I get another lever. So that should turn that on. That should turn, uh, no channel set. So we got to, we should have to do one of these, right? So if we click that, set to channel one, right? So if we put that like that and then do another redstone torch maybe. Just make sure that this is working the way that I want it to, you know. So we'll put that like that. We'll put the redstone torch like that. And then if we turn that on, oh, it didn't go off. Uh, all right, more testing required. Let me go back into let me go back into the uh, into the in between clips and I'll see if I can figure this out. Be right back. Okay, so I think I've got some stuff to show y'all. Uh, we'll start here. So. 
this is the first level down. So we come in through the door right here. We come to this first level. Haven't quite figured out what I want to do here. This is going to be like maybe a great receiving hall or something like that for the grand wizard that is uh, me, uh, RB Plays. Um, and then you come down the steps. This will be, uh, this floor needs to be changed still. Uh, but then you come down here and what I think is going to end up here, um, I think this is going to end up being like ore processing, right? Like we put in a whole row of pulverizers and enrichment chambers and and uh, furnaces and such, and uh, and that will that will hide this because this this black concrete right here that's the top of the mob spawner. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a it's kind of an important little little tidbit. We've got stairs here. Uh, I think I'm going to make the the walls going down here. I think I'm going to make them these this gray concrete with some other highlights in it. But uh, and then floor, we got to change that out as well. But then you come around the corner here and you get to uh, the mob spawner, right? So the mob spawner is is basically finished. Uh, let's go in here and we'll take a look at what we've got. So right down here underneath the uh, underneath the mob spawners, we've got redstone torches. Those redstone torches are off right now because um, because of the wireless redstone that's over there on the corner. That right wireless redstone is linked to right here, right? So if we go in over here and we put that block right there. Now we do have, we unfortunately, we have vector plates um, because this, so in the live stream, we made the mob slaughter factory. And if you, uh, if you show the working area, it only has, it can only, it can only break, it can only do one block of damage, right? But that's okay because we can do range upgrades. But the problem is, is that the range upgrades, um, they, they require, uh, they require something that I don't have access to yet. And that is the dissolution chamber. Now we could make a dissolution chamber and we'll probably make one real quick before the end of this episode. Um, but we don't have, uh, we don't have, we have access to latex, but we don't have an ac access of getting it over here, like where we need it, like right away. So what we're going to do for, for right now is we're going to get this thing going, right? We're going to get a vector plate right there. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Everything in here is fine. There's no lights in here. There's no nothing. Uh, we need to get power to this. So let's take a look at that and see if we can figure out how we're going to get power. Uh, we should be able to do that like right here. Uh, breaker. Breaker 19. Breaker 19. So we should be able to bring power in right down here. Yeah, we'll just go right here. So in the right, uh, right here. Yeah, sure. That'll be fine. So we got to get over here to where we've got power. I should have done this off camera because this is absolutely a lot of digging and stuff. Uh, but if we just keep going on this way, keep going straight that way, we should run into all of this, right? Uh, so let's see if we can, let me see if I can get that dug out for you real quick. How much, how many conduits do I have? I need, not that one. Uh, yeah, here we go. So I've got... <laughs> I've got two. Can I make can I make more universal cables? Um, that's a great question. <laughs> We're running low on iron. We don't have a lot of iron right now at all. But that's okay. So uh, universal cables. We need steel. Steel is not easy to do, unfortunately. Um, Steel's not easy to make. I mean, it's easy to make, but it don't have a lot of resources. But once again, running really low on iron. The the iron that we did in the last episode is uh, is kind of going kind of slowly. But iron, yeah, we got twenty three. We got twenty three. Yeah, I mean that'll be fine. Uh, so let me show you. Let me show you exactly what we got going on here because there's something that I need to move anyway. Um, I'll get I'll get some of those cooking here shortly, and we'll go from there. Um, because you guys don't want to see me dig a tunnel, right? Like nobody wants to see that. But if we go all the way over here to where we were, and we bring that uh, bring that power down and take it across back to the base, uh, we should get to a point where we can run this thing, and the mob slaughter factory will gather us up with meat and uh, pink slime. We need pink slime because in order to make the range upgrades, we got to have that dissolution chamber. And dissolution chamber also is another thing to give us uh, the uh, the mob crusher. And the mob crusher requires pink slime, so we 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 need the we need the slot. Actually, we need what do we need here? We need that's pity machine frames. So we could make that now. I'm trying to trying to think of the best way to do this and and not 
have it be like crazy, uh, like crazy time. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Nope, not that one. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. That one, like that. So we should be able to turn this on. Oh, baby. Look at that. Mobs are spawning. Now, did that blaze, did the blaze spawner turn on? Or not the blaze spawner, but the, did the zombie spawner turn on? I think it did. I think it did. Ow. Punk. Why, why you like that? I can, I'll show you. I'll show you guys. Yeah, come on. Come on down. He's not going to come down. Aha, gotcha. All right, anyway, so that's how that's going to work. I just got to move. I want to move this control. I think I want to move it to this wall, like maybe right, eh, like maybe right here. I don't know. I also got to kill this guy. So let's get in here and, and get that done. But I'll come back to you guys in a minute and show you some finish, show you the finished product. Okay, so here we are finishing up. Hopefully I have enough of these. I think I should. Uh, but anyway, here we are finishing up and ta-da, that should be everything that we need to bring power to that. Yes, it is. Uh, so can I, can I, can I get out of here, please? Can, can, can I get out of here, please? Thanks. All right. So now if we close this up, if we close this up, we should see, uh, mobs being killed by the slaughter factory. Yes. Ta-da. Yep. So we got meat. A little bit of pink slime. I love it. We're gonna have to have a way to get rid of the meat because apparently that's the that's the thing that we're gonna get the most of. I wonder if there's a uh, trash can for liquids. Cause I really don't think I'm gonna need a lot of uh, fluids, right? So liquid trash can. That's a bucket plus that plus that. We should be able to make that happen, yeah. Yeah, like I don't know if this thing is gonna keep killing. Is it gonna keep killing? I like it does. I think it does. Okay, I mean it's full, and it's still killing these guys, so that's cool. It, it doesn't cause a overflow of the liquid, no. And we're still getting pink slime, which is awesome. Okay, well I'm not gonna worry about it too much then. I'm gonna let that thing run for a minute while we move this. Uh, so let's go ahead and break, uh, let's break here, let's break here, let's also break that, and break that, and then we should be able to put this in here behind this block right here, kind of sort, nope, 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 nobody nope. I think that's right. I think that's how that works. We're gonna find out here in a minute. Output. Oh wait, what am I? What am I doing? Oh, what am I doing? That's the wrong one. That's the transmitter or the receiver. I want the transmitter. Uh, that's it right there. What in the heck did I do? What in the heck was I doing wrong? There we go. So now that should be turned off. I think I see the redstone torches off in there. And we have got ourselves pink slime. So, all in all, I'd say that's a good day's work, but I am out of time, folks. So let's ta let's chat for a minute. So it, we'll come back next time. And when we come back next time, we'll we'll use all of the materials that we have. That'll give us a chance to get some more iron too. Uh, and we'll make our, uh, our uh, oh, what the heck is that thing called? Um, uh, dissolution chamber. Yeah, that thing. We'll make the dissolution chamber so that we can make the upgrades so that that thing will, that that our mob killers will kill more than just the mobs that are right in front of it. Uh, we can make range upgrades after that. And then also we'll use the dissolution chamber so that we can get into the, uh, into the mob crusher so that we can actually start getting loot and drops and all that automatically without 
having to stand over here and use spells or swords or whatever. But that is all the time I have for today. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments. So make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that good stuff, and we'll chat about it in kind. Don't forget to stop by our Discord server where we're talking about all things life, all things gaming, and all things Minecraft. But once again, folks, that is all the time I have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.